So fluffy. I, yeah, I don't really know why, because they literally live in that bag. Yeah, but you just bring them to a house of cats. And they get everywhere. <laughs> Hey, hi, and hello. Welcome to Hold My Beer. My name is Holly. Hi, I'm Harry. And we are here. We're here for you. I am excited today. Good. I mean, I, I'm always excited most of the time. I haven't been for the last three episodes. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we are today. I'm here for it. Good. How are you doing so far this week? Yeah. All right. What day? I don't even know what day it is. Um, Tuesday, but listeners Tuesday. will be listening tomorrow, is it? Next day? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, I'll have to edit this today. Um, <laughs> yeah, fine. Nothing exciting to report so no. far. No, I went car shopping at the weekend, that was about it. What did I do? What did you do? Oh, I've been doing my bloody flower bed. I put oh, some lights up in my garden. Uh, it's going all right. I'm now two thirds of the way through digging it in. Good. Um, and my little babs helped me out. Yeah. Um, by getting in the way. It was great. <laughs> it was superb. Don't you just love kids? Yeah. Um, and I managed to do a bit of a clean on my house, which is fine. Nice. Chop down some some leaves off of the side of next door's house. <laughs> That video was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Basically, I, I I don't have a set of shears. So every time I need to chop anything, Harry bring I, I ask Harry for his shears. <laughs> I've got a bush, a massive bush at the end of my garden. Same um, nothing. <laughs> um, and I need to chop it down. I need to chop it down, dig it out, kill it off, get yeah. rid of it because it is it is it's overgrown, it's out of control. This bush is unreal. <laughs> Right, <laughs> and it, it's uh, you know I want it nice and trim, prune trimmed. I want a trimmed bush, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm playing in a innuendo bingo. If anyone's <sighs> listening, um, I had a good old prune the other day. Oh, very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had these shears, and then Harry was leaving the house or my house, and um, I noticed that I had the shears, and there was loads of overgrown ivy and thorns everywhere. So I just started from next door's garden, leaning into mine. So I just started. I did have quite a lot. Cutting them down, and he took a video and sent it to me, Mum. Can I post the video? No, God, my ass looks fat. But <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> because you just go, it's not even her garden. And it wasn't my garden. It was just, pr- well, but it's over my side of the fence, which means I can do that. I'm within my rights to get rid of it. <clears throat> As per UK law. I think there's like a Neighbour 95 Act or something, isn't there? <laughs> just saying that. <laughs> I made that up. Um, I know. <laughs> But there you have it. Um, so that has been my that was my weekend, and I've obviously been working this week. So, mm. which is lovely. Good. I love my I love my job. We're having a great time. We're having a superb time. So, which is great. Your careers um, are going well. <laughs> Down a well. <laughs> so, I am the well. <laughs> I'm spiraling. <laughs> down a fucking drain (laughs) anyway um so today we are gonna have a little conversation oh no about peculiar hobbies oh i thought you were gonna say this was like an intervention or something no i can't be dealing with that in my life right now that will be soon um (laughs) so we're gonna have a little conversation about peculiar hobbies that people um do or have or, or whatnot from there um i have been known to try many a hobby no i like a good project but i have my little quirks of things that i like yeah um and i'm sure you probably do as well at some no yeah i think you'd be surprised i don't like to fail candles probably (laughs) i don't really buy many candles anymore Mm. i yeah i have like people will understand this i think um but I will, I'll wait to say it. I'll wait to go through it. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to talk about people's hobbies um, and some hobbies that we found on the internet. You know, we're going to have a little search on yeah. it. Um, and we're going to go through 
things that people like to enjoy to do. Um, with that in mind, if any of you listeners have a peculiar hobby that you want us to discuss or you want to tell us about, we will gladly, gladly listen. Um, and you'll be able to find our details at the end of the episode or in the show notes. Before we get started, can I show you a picture? Oh, show me, yes. Is it of my feet again? No, actually, it's of my foot. <laughs> oh God, is it swollen? That was my blister under a blister plaster this morning. Oh my day! And then it burst through. Ew. For anyone... I had to change it. It was... You know soft mints? It, do you know what? It's like one of the giant <clears throat> soft mints. Yeah, it's like you've of. put one of those soft mints into... Underneath your, your compede. Yeah. Yeah, so that um, hurts. Yeah, I can imagine. I, mean, you, I like to pop mine myself, and then I just peel the oh, skin no, away. Oh, there was <laughs> nothing to pop. The, yeah. it, it scraped off in my shoe. Wow. Um, and I've got to wear uncomfortable shoes later for that. Oh, no. So. Um, my life is just wearing uncomfortable outfits and shoes. <laughs> Whereas I'm constantly in joggers. <laughs> Literally. You're con- constantly in soft clothes. I've been uncomfortable for the first 20 years, 27 years of my life. I don't need it anymore. Whereas I just keep inflicting it on myself. My life is just a series of crash diets and nice outfits. (laughs) I'm going to eat a piece of cheese today. (laughs) If I feel faint, I'll eat some cheese. (laughs) And that is a sentence I have said to Holly. (laughs) And actually, Holly Holly offered me half of her Twix earlier and I said said no. You said no, you did very well, you said no. I did, I did say no and I said no because I'm starving myself to take some out tonight. (laughs) Don't listen to Harry's diet fads. No, I does. wouldn't at all. I wouldn't advise them. They're great for like a quick, when I need to, you know, get into an outfit for something. <clears throat> mm. Not great long term. <laughs> no, I cannot, I cannot sustain myself on cheese <laughs> cubes. <laughs> um, okay, so to get on with the episode for you guys, um, yeah, so like we said, we're going to talk about peculiar habits. Um, I'm going to um, start it off and this is, I literally did a Google Google search, peculiar habits, Mm. and this is what has come back for me. And the first one, I'm like, I want to do this. Right. Lock picking. Oh, do you know what? I have often thought I might buy a kit on Amazon. I'm like, I want to learn. I think, I watched the Italian job, I think it was, and I was like, I want to do that. No, there's this guy on TikTok who, like, teaches you how to pick every kind of lock. Send me his profile. And I constantly think, I could do that. That's so cool. Like, what if I roll in drunk one night and I can't find my key and I need to get in? I know, I'll find my lock picking kit. I think it'd be a fantastic life-saving skill. I think it'd be a fantastic party trick. And that as well. You could literally get out of anything. Yeah. Out of anywhere. Give me some handcuffs. I'm out of them. (laughs) I don't want to be out of them. Oh, do you know what I saw on TikTok recently? No. It was, um, it, it was in America. And it was the police department doing, I might have sent this to you, uh, DUI evenings. Yes! Did you see that? I saw it. And they get, and they get like, really drunk and have, like, this social gathering. <laughs> and then, like, they're all tested because there's, like, one in every however many people yeah. that aren't drunk. Yeah. I want to do that. I don't think we do that in the UK. I don't no, think I don't think we do, but I want to do that. <laughs> Um, that seems like such a good idea. However, we'd have to take. So... I'd have to take my own ice. I can't not have ice. <laughs> I'm not having a warm fucking cocktail. You're so high maintenance. That is not high maintenance. You are high maintenance. I mean, a bit my twix. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Holly Chewing, episode <laughs> number seventeen. ASMR. Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> what does that stand for? Audio sensory. You already got two letters more than me. What is it? A S M R. I don't get like the the hype with it. Autonumerous sensory meridian response. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't get it. It's the response people have to certain sounds and how they do it. Oh. Uh, it's a brain experience of low-grade euphoria, mm. characterised by a positive feeling. And you get that free with me chewing. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> or do you not feel Why euphoria here? Why are we not capitalising on that as well? <laughs> Just edits of me chewing and, and swallowing my drinks. Well, we could sell that, actually. <laughs> 
Um, let me let me go through the second one. <clears throat> so this is called puppetry, <laughs> puppetry sports, right? And basically it involves a team of puppeteers competing against each other in various events uh, from choreography choreographed dance routines to exemplary pieces of drama with dialogues puppets were a part of uh, da, 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 da. so like a punch and judy show Are you in a couple? Uh, um <laughs> was that me or you that was me oh no it's fine it's like a we been <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> the- <laughs> Harry, remember when you flashed me yesterday? <laughs> Dead. Um, yeah, so they basically, they create puppeteers and they could do like sword fighting or dance and choreo- choreographed dance and like shows and it, they would do mm. all of these things. So not quite, pu- um, I think like Pinocchio puppets, not Punch and Judy hand socks. <laughs> I love a Punch and Judy. I remember when we used to have pump- Punch and Judy's like come to the schools and they'd it's set a up an English thing isn't it like a travelling theatre yeah you remember the things that yeah. they used to do yeah we had them before at the schools I don't know if we had them at school mm. yeah we used to have them in school I remember forget primary school as well I was in like year four five I don't know but after spending a weekend of digitising home movies I <laughs> clearly had blocked out half of my life we need to talk about that <laughs> Because, right, so, Harry has, Harry's family loved to video everything. Oh, and we're not talking... Except for your father's, like, father of the bride speech, which I find so shocking, so shocking... The one that, thing the one that thing needed <laughs> to be filmed. And it didn't wasn't. film it. So... But you've got you... Like yeah. 10 minutes on the potty. So most parents, <laughs> like when their children were small, capture like fun, quick moments of like nice things happening. My parents just filmed everything. And I mean everything. We weren't doing anything and they'd be filming. And they wonder why all three of their children, the moment there's a camera on, know exactly what to do. Exactly. what they, You've literally got trademark smiles and everything. Like I've walked into your house and it's like... A shrine it's to like your family. It's like a gun to our face. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So there's hours upon... I think I spent seven <clears throat> hours digitising and it's still not done, but... God. Yeah. Oh, my days. Um, so, ju- yeah, so just to kind of, like, go through what Harry did over the weekend, he took all of those, tried to digitise them, sent me a couple uh, of clicks. and succeeded. He, did you do all of them? I did all... I did that... Um, those 10 VHSs and then apparently there's another box on my parents. Oh, wow. Well, well done. How many hours? Several. Oh, my days. They were hour tapes each, so probably seven hours. Oh. Wow. Yeah. But it was nice. It was nice to look back. There was Christmases. There was the day I was born. There was... Not from the... Not from that end. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> do you remember people used to do that with the camera, didn't they? The dad yeah. would be in there with the camera literally pointing at your vag going, here she comes. <laughs> I'd rather I not. Could, I couldn't think of anything fucking worse. No. Like, my baby came out from the sunroof and, uh, like, no, don't want anyone near me. Little bits. Anything from, like, waist down, stay clear of. Yeah, up my head, come on. <laughs> but people do, like, a full-on birth... No. experience don't they no. I'll show you after we're finished because it's like I cringe at the water bath like births that oh. people do like hats off to people that do them you know give me an epidural and have done with it I I, was I don't want to feel anything I wanted a water bath and they wouldn't let me have one water birth I'll have a bath every now and then <laughs> but yeah mm. so uh, to carry on we've got cha- another peculiar hobby that people have is a yeah. chainsaw wood carving and google it guys because the moment you google it the amount of talent oh yeah this takes and it's peculiar you don't you know not many people own it's chainsaw. one of those things that i will never have that much talent to be able I, to do i can't even i can't even draw, a stick draw the it's just it's so it's complete art yeah it's like uh, ice sculptures as well mm. It's incredible. Someone's. I'm looking at something now, and there's an eagle, a horse, and a lady, 
all from a big wooden log. And it's it's taller than this bloke himself, so he's literally gone into the time to do that the facial video, features. The videos of the guys chopping wood on TikTok. <gasps> Thor and Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, he's like, come on, baby. And I'm like, and then he spits. And I'm like, I don't even like Ooh. spitting. But <laughs> Spit in my mouth at that point. He's like, yeah, good it. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, my days. Have you seen the piss takes of it? Yes. The blo- There's a bloke that, that um, basically does it exactly the same. And it's like he's dry humping it constantly. Yep. It's fucking hilarious. Like, I remember when the, he, that um, Bradley guy just, like, got a little bit popular. And I... He, yeah. Do you want to know the other one I saw recently? Thatcher's. Oh, yeah, I oh, saw Thatcher's. The really muscular guy. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've never I, wanted a thatched house more. Do you know what I love? And I, I absolutely love this. There's a guy who called SP Gardening or something mm. like that, or SP Mowing. Oh, is it like the <laughs> he Friday goes, he goes and does someone's lawn that needs yeah, the help? But he does it for free. Yeah. And it's so lovely. But I can watch those and they're so like mesmerizing yeah. to when see him go like through. like that it. standing lawn mower, and he's like zipping up and down. And the I'm garden. like, I want one. <laughs> I know. I've never wanted one so much. <laughs> Mum and Dad used to have a sit on ride lawn, and <sighs> that was fun enough. No, I want, I want, a, I want his mower, or hit for him to just come and do my garden yeah. for me. Um, How overgrown does my garden need to be for him to just show up one day? Yeah, very, because he lives in America, so, <laughs> so <laughs> viewable from be a, a satellite. Move that bus <laughs> moment. No, no. <laughs> no, you'll get some grotty kid from down the road, like you want you mow oh, my way. I hate kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> my little girl loves you. And so she should. You, I love your little girl. You came over last night and I had to tell you to be quiet because if she hears him... I was talking to Holly's neighbour and Holly's neighbor, uh, Holly came to the door but shushing me and I thought Holly meant don't tell her neighbour that she's there. God. No, but if my daughter hears Harry in the house, she goes, Harry! <laughs> From her bed and will not go back to sleep until she's at least at a low, I think. And then she'll go back to bed. Well. She's, yeah obsessed with you but next one so we've appreciated the wood carving um my father did this and i don't think it's peculiar i think it went through a phase okay brewing oh brew your own beer was went through a massive phase in about i think it was 2018 or 19 it went back further than that it was like 2013 was it actually yeah i remember that microbreweries that used to come in like and all I would think is, sure, what, brewing this in your bathtub? He still, no, no. <laughs> he still makes his own brew. Oh, does he? Well, home does. Brew. Yeah, he's really, really good at it as well. I've not had a good home brew in years. Yeah, he's very good at it. Um, very, he's very anal. Okay, is what I'll say. Same. So he, he suits doing that. Well, did I tell everyone about him deleting all the messages? Yes, you did. No, oh, right, okay. <laughs> so I deleted him and then put him in my phone as mother's plus one. He's still in there, is that? I love that. Yeah, yeah. so brewing, I, th- I think it's peculiar, but you have to be so, it's like baking, you have to have exact measurements yeah. of everything, you don't you, to actually be, make it. You can't yeah. wing it. No. You can't black it, you can't wing it. And it that's our MO, we'd never be good at it. Mm-mm. I wing it that much, I should be an angel. <laughs> I wing it that much, I should be giving a masterclass on it. Looking right, yeah. I could sell that. Mm. How to blag it through life. That's a project. <laughs> Professional guide to blagging. <laughs> yeah. Braggers course 101. Yeah. Introduction to brag uh, to bragging to blagging. Here's a competitive sport I never knew existed. Go on. And apparently it's a hobby. A mobile phone throwing. What? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Mobile phone throwing. It's a competitive sport where contestants throw phones and are judged based on their technique and the distance covered. Uh huh. Deeply rooted in the Finnish culture and was started by Nokia. <laughs> because obviously the 3210 is the greatest phone that there ever was. Um, you remember when they brought the 3310 and we yes. were all like, ooh. <laughs> I loved my Nokia. I had the blue rubber case, like, case. Say! <laughs> I think Sam had like the orange one. Mm. I don't know what 
I don't know what Chris had, and the mums had blackberries. Yeah. But it started by Nokia. Well, um, <clears throat> who are still going, apparently, by the way. Since it has the reputation of an unbreakable brick and it supposedly outlasts all our smartphones. But it's not untrue. No. And it's an official sport in Finland. Of course it is. Well, they I kind of want to see person. it. I really want to see it. I mean, it looks like he's about to throw a javelin. <laughs> but no, no, he has a Nokia. <laughs> now, does Nokia provide the phones? I, I, I don't know. Do you have to take your Are own? they disqualified if they break? Are, are they allowed to soup them up, like reinforce them? I mean, it looks like he's about to throw it on concrete. So I'm thinking that it'll be... Break the concrete. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> um, another one. I don't think this is peculiar because I've done this and I actually really enjoy it as well. Mm. Have you heard of geocaching? Oh, fucking hell. It was a have. huge thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, I remember this. And I love it. I love it oh. because it's like treasure hunting. But, it, but is it? Mm -hmm. But there's nothing there. Yeah, there is. There is. You, there's things there. You you, And then you write your name to say that you think you, you log that you found it. And then you go, people hide things. There's like little treasure boxes, like geocaches. Uh -huh. And you go and you, you can do a swap or something on some of them. Or they've got like a little riddle on them. It's, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, there's some in the villages around here. And it's a, there's one near you. It's a, yeah, there's one in Finbar as well. So there's another, it's a great way to, I mean, there's about, I think it's about a 10k walk. Right. You just go on a walk. And I used to do it in a run. I used to do the geocache uh -huh. and see if they were still there. Do you remember when Pokemon Go came out? I love Pokemon Go. Do you? <laughs> I tried to get into it, couldn't get into it. Yeah, I like Pokemon Go. I don't have it and I don't do it anymore. What I but... love is there was one in the warehouse where I used to work. <laughs> I was though. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So geocaching, I think it's great. I think people should continue to do it. It's worldwide. You can have your app open, go find the caches, do a nice little trail walk, and you enjoy it as you go. And it's getting people outside. I'd rather well, have a glass of wine. I think when Molly, like when Molly's a bit older, yeah, I'll go and I'll I'll take her to go geocaching with me. And she'll have an appreciation for finding things and looking outside the box and, you know, all of that type. I think it's brilliant. It's a great little family activity. I love a treasure hunt. I love it. Or you could just go on a walk. Yeah, but I like to find things. I like, that's the aspect that would get me there is because right. I have to, it's a challenge. It's like, it's like someone's gone, there's five things you need to find. Go find them. And for all the people that don't want to do that, you can join me for a glass of wine. <sighs> I can't drink tonight. Are you driving? Well, not only that, but people are starting to think that I'm an actual alcoholic. You, the only time you post on Instagram if you've got wine somewhere or something. It, literally. <laughs> Which I looked the other day because someone was saying that I was always drinking and I said, and it was because they think that every time, that I'm, you know, the only time I do is when I post on Instagram. So I went and looked and literally twice in about three months I posted about alcohol on Instagram. People are funny. It's probably the only time they've seen it. Yeah. Um, it does make me wonder if that's why there's um, posters up in the office. Yeah. <laughs> this is another one that I'm familiar with. Go on. <clears throat> Making lamps out of random things. I'm not donating my empty alcohol bottle so you can make a lamp. This isn't one that I do. It's one that my dad has done before. Right. So um, he got a fire hose, the end uh -huh. of a fire hose, brassed it up so it's like gold, put a plate on it and made a lamp out of it. It's beautiful. Right. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I know people that have done it with other things as well. But yeah, they make lamps out of random stuff. He made um, a table out of engineering stuff. You know the table that's in the back garden that's got mm. a glass cover on it and it's like looks like an industrial oh, rotor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, he got that from a scrap yard and made a table. Yeah. And I'm like, the talent. The talent. It's worth about four or five grand. Do you remember the Honda advert where they used every single piece of one of their cars? 
I'm digesting. Do you want a Tums? <laughs> no. You used to offer me Tumses I've constantly. I offered you a Tums in ages. <laughs> Go on. The uh, Honda advert, and they did one. Oh, yeah. I'll have to show you that. It's like, um, they literally, every down to like every screw and nut and bolt they used in the advert. Brilliant. It's like a, I can't think of what it's called, like a domino effect kind of thing. Yeah. I love that. It goes down, down. I'll send it to you later. Like an a, an economic thing for it as well. So yeah. once it's scrapped, this is what we do with it. Yeah. That's it. Or this is what you can do with and it. I mean, this advert's about 20 years old. See? Way ahead of the times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um wow that is weird cheese rolling oh yeah i know cheese rolling well then you can talk about cheese rolling because i, I know okay it's a weird hobby and it's got traction in england yeah um and it becomes a yearly event when people run down a hill after a block of cheese yeah yep <laughs> okay i've got to talk about this one Right. Baby jumping. This sounds familiar. Go on. A weird hobby can be traced back to a Spanish festival in the 1620s. Right. Men dressed as the devil, leaping over rows of babies lying on mattresses in the street. Right, not what I thought it was in the slightest. <laughs> I mean, it, baby jumping is what it say it is. They jump over babies. It's just so weird. That's a very peculiar hobby. Right. Imagine if they slipped. Imagine if they slipped. Oh. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Right, this isn't weird, but I, you get obsessed with the videos. I get obsessed with the videos. I think there's nobody on this planet that hasn't seen. And that's how we save the bees. <gasps> oh, I fucking love that woman. And it's another, it's another great, great day. day of saving the bees. <laughs> that's it. I know, you've got it. Um... Yeah, but beekeeping is a thing now. I'd David, love... Be David Beckham beekeeps, doesn't he? He's got a, hunt, a fresh I honey. I would love to have beehives. I'd love to beekeep. Well, I basically do beekeep. Did you see all of my bees out the front this morning? Do they give you honey? Well, no, because I don't have any hives. Then you don't keep bees? I have I, I have bee food. <laughs> so do I. I'm, ba I'm basically a restaurant for the bees. <laughs> Oh, however... Please so put a mini menu. Please. On today's <laughs> menu, lavender with a side of rose. <laughs> Some, uh, several of them got trapped in my window the other day. I had to help them out. Mm. I, love I do like them. Tending to the bees. What is it? If every bee dropped dead on the planet, we'd be dead in four years? What? And that's what it says, is it? Or ten years, is it? I don't think that was a thing anymore. I don't know. I'm asking. Uh, oh, I don't know. Do you remember when bees were, like, on the verge of extinction? Yeah. Like, 20 years ago. At a brown, at Edinburgh stood. And he was like, that, we can't have this. And now they're back. They're no longer an endangered species. Because of all the bloody beekeepers. That's why it's no longer a it's peculiar... like me, keeping the bees going. <laughs> you have a restaurant for them. You don't keep them. They're, you're a pit but stop. But I'm a safe space for them. You're a pit stop. And I love that. I'm a safe spot. I watched the movie Cars the other day. Great film. For the first time in probably 20 years. And it was great. <clears throat> I had a whale of a time. <laughs> Fantastic. Have you got any more? Oh, yeah. I'm not done yet. I've got well, we're half an hour. <laughs> oh, this will make all the lonely people upset. Wife carrying is apparently a hobby. <laughs> right. Weird hobby turns It's a sport. hobby? Mm -hmm. Carrying his female partner through a challenging obstacle course. You want to see how they're carrying them? Upside down. Oh my <laughs> god. So it's like a tough mudder with your wife on your back. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, right. I'm kind of impressed. Nobody, nobody will want to marry me if they that is a mandatory sport. No. Because my fat ass <laughs> <laughs> is not going to be carried. You said that and in my head you were doing the carrying. <laughs> Fun story, <laughs> right? Years and years ago, I went to V Festival. V Festival. Do you remember V Festival? <laughs> Still goes on. I went to V Festival. Oh, God. Um, I've never seen so many disgraced women shitting 
outside oh, between no. between like bins and stuff because oh. the state of the portaloos at festivals. What is oh. it with people when they get to a festival they become so uninhibited? I don't know. I did not do that. But what I did do is um I made a point of squatting people at a festival, but always men that were bigger than me. <laughs> Right. It was only the people that I was with. It wasn't random people. I didn't just like go up, but... <laughs> get up and just randomly <laughs> pick them. Under you go. <laughs> Stood with the legs open too long. How many of <laughs> David can I bench? <laughs> there was one guy and he was like, nah, you can't do it. I went, bet. <laughs> oh my God. So me, I was a, I've got a picture. It doesn't surprise me. I think I've got it on Facebook. I've got a picture of me uh, benching somebody. Not benching, squatting. Years and years ago, mine. Mm. I'll find the photo. But there's a picture of me in my festival hat. Can we post it? With somebody on my shoulders, yeah. And <laughs> I look really happy with myself as well. Oh, do you know what? I really fancy some garlic bread. <gasps> Stop. I love garlic bread. I'm going to have garlic bread tonight. Shall we? So, do you want to round off? Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, we've spoken today about peculiar hobbies. We were going to link it in with Guinness World Records, but we'll leave that for another day because there is some absurd one of those. There really are. So um, expect that episode in the future and we'll give you a nice little weird as fuck um, yeah. Guinness World Record episode. So that closes off today. Thank you ever so much for listening to us while we talk at you. We appreciate it. And uh, I will leave it to the professional who knows exactly oh, what he Christ. wants to say. Do I? Yeah. Do I? Thank you anyway, guys. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> you can find us everything with the links and all that in the show notes. We look oh, forward yeah. to hearing from hearing from you. And uh, we'll say to Luz for now. Toodaloo. Laters, taters. Goodbye. Love you, bye.